Hi, thank you so very much for joining me for another episode of Screw the Cubicle TV. I am Lydia Lee, the corporate escape coach at Screw the Cubicle, and I'm so happy to be back on the channel now. Uh, I haven't been online uh, on video for uh, a few months, and uh, I definitely have missed talking to you guys uh, in uh, the video world and in the online world. So thank you very much for joining me. And if you're a subscriber of this channel, uh, I feel very honored that uh, you come and watch these videos every single week. Uh, so today I want to talk about something that I know I get a lot of questions around, right? When people are thinking about quitting their jobs, um, they're thinking, well, what would I do next? What business should I start? Um, so this video is really uh, kind of breaking down some different ways uh, that you can learn on how you can repurpose the skills you already know and you already have to be your own boss or to be an entrepreneur. So why am I talking about this today? Well, the first thing is I always tell people that I work with is don't try to reinvent the wheel on doing something completely different than anything that you've ever had any experience doing. And I'll talk a little bit more about experience uh, in the next few minutes in this video. Um, taking what you know and really repurposing it towards a new direction uh, is going to make the process much easier for you. So. One of the common mistakes that I always see that people do is that sometimes they might be so traumatized by a job role or an industry or a business type uh, that they've they've you know didn't have a good time doing being an employee before that they might say you know what screw it I'll never do that again and I think there's a lot of missed opportunity in looking at how you would do things differently looking at how you can actually be using some of the skill sets that you were valued to do you were paid really well to do and really just applying it you know towards a different type of work uh, or different types of people uh, that you that will actually change you know how you feel about that skill set or, or about that strengths uh, and that's really going to lead you to work that you can be proud of and can be passionate doing without kind of like throwing away all the years of experience that you've had uh, and being able to apply it to a new direction so here we go so the first part of looking into ways that you can repurpose your skills is first Take a pad of paper out or a Word document on your computer and start to brainstorm. And this is kind of the stage that I call kind of like taking inventory of your know-how and your knowledge and the things that you have been able to do or know how to do or have learned how to do in the however many years that you've been alive. Um, so when you take inventory of this list of things that you know how to do, and sometimes it can be helpful to go into your resume, you know, your past uh, work experience and taking a look at what was sort of job roles that you had uh, and just listing all the things that you loved, uh, sorry, were able to do in, in that job role. Then the second part is to look at that list and start kind of creating another column perhaps next to it. Uh, and this is where you start to kind of discern, you know, and separate uh, what are the things that you have loved to do um, that you would like to do again? Which skill sets, uh, which thing that you know how to do, which you want to kind of carry forward, you know, to the future and that you wouldn't mind doing again or you're passionate about or that you love doing it. Uh, maybe not for the same boss as you to do it for, but you know, it's a skill set that you love. Um, you know, there is a difference about work that you want to do versus work that you can do, right? There's lots of things that we can do, but may not be something that we're that passionate about or, um, you know, is something that we want to, again, continue with in, in our future of more meaningful careers. So start to isolate from the first list to the second column and look at kind of a smaller list, a much more curated list of uh, skills and strengths that you actually truly enjoy and truly are passionate about giving to other people. Um, and then start really thinking about all that, you know, that shorter list. Um, if you could apply those strengths or skills or use those skills and repurpose it towards helping a different type of person or helping uh, a profile of a person that you think deserves that help or you're really drawn to help that can absolutely again bring new life uh, to your skill sets instead of doing what you used to do with it back in the day maybe in corporate world um, another way to look at it is also where would you apply this strength and skill um, to be you know 
used towards a particular outcome. What sorts of results or what sorts of destinations uh, would you want this skill to help people do, right? And sometimes changing the why you're using that skill and what is it for and where are you hoping to have people go to, again, can bring a very, very good new life and fresh new perspective in how you utilize and repurpose that skill. The second way that you can look into different ways of repurposing your skills towards a business idea uh, is to look at something that I think a lot of people overlook. Things that they were never paid to do but are really good at. Um, this is where you look at your personal life. Look at the things that you've actually solved for yourself in your personal life that you feel passionate to share with other people again, right? And sometimes you can look at conversations, questions your you know close network of people may ask you all the time that um, isn't a job that you do, but something that you just do on a natural basis. So for example, if you're a mother uh, that uh, knows how to raise really great healthy children and uh, really raise great human beings uh, and and alternative to kind of the traditional way of raising kids but it's never something you've been paid to do but something you're proud to do and something that you love sharing with the world this could absolutely be something that could lead you to an amazing meaningful business idea that is going to um, help you use uh, your life experience and monetize of your life experience in a way to help people do the same things. Um, these are circumstances that you may have solved the pain for yourself, you've struggled with something that was difficult in your life and you figured out a solution uh, to be better, to have a better life, to feel better, whatever that problem that you solved for yourself, it could be something to look at as a way of finding a great business idea to teach others or share with others around. Um, and then think about how can you use, you know, when you think, when you did the first piece of the, this exercise of this short list of skill sets, right, certain strengths that you like to, to use again, how could you apply those skill sets towards now this new direction, right? How can you mix some of the different skill sets there to create something new to solve this different problem uh, that you're passionate about, but again, may not have been paid uh, uh, for to do before, but, but very, very meaningful for you to share. All right, so the last thing I want to say about uh, repurposing skill sets and your existing skill sets into a potential business idea is this. I want you to focus on problems, right? Essentially, businesses are built to solve problems. So what problems would you like to solve? All these skill sets that you might have taken inventory on, all the things that you know you have a sort of, you know, I always call it the tool belt, your skill set tool belt, where you could whip out a hammer or a wrench whenever you need it. These are the different strengths and skills you just have in your pocket at all times. But until they're applied, towards solving of a problem, um, we won't know the business direction that you're meant to do. So think about problems. What problems um, do you see in the world that you would like to contribute to solving? What problems are around you in the community, in the world that you le live in, uh, where you feel this need that you want to help um, create solutions for, that you're passionate about and have gone through it and you have a sort of personal um, kind of alignment with it, you know, in order to feel that meaning and purpose behind your work. And then apply those skills, which are just tools, right, and transfer that towards the focus of problems that you might have brainstormed and really see how you would actually be um, using those skill sets to create different sorts of solutions, approaches, right, or different modalities to solve problems that you may not see very often often in the outside world. So what's the most valuable thing you can help with that you're passionate about that's also really valuable to other people? Uh, and always remember, not everyone knows what you know. So what might feel easy for you may not be easy for other people. And that's kind of the sweet spot of what a great business idea will be uh, and, and, and obviously something that people pay for and find valuable to exchange their money, right? And then you have a great business. So I hope that kind of wet your whistle a little bit on a few ideas on how to um, look at your existing skill sets, look at how you can transfer those skill sets towards new directions and repurpose what you know into a meaningful business idea that you can love. So if you want to continue doing this exercise and really try to find the focus of business ideas instead of trying to go out there and try to do what everybody else is doing and focus on you, uh, you can download a free resource that I have on my website and I'll have the link below this video. Uh, 
as well as we're going to probably have it somewhere in this video of a link to get to this freebie. And it's called my Create My Dream Business Mind Map. And this is really going to help you um, take all your ideas out from your head onto paper and start to discern them and apply some of these kind of problem focuses of ideas so that you really know what you might be selling and what you can charge for, right? Screw the cubicle.com. Uh, if you go there, you'll probably see it. Um, it's called Create My Dream Business Mind Map or click on one of the links in this video or below this video to get to your free workbook. All right, that's it for me today. Thank you so very much for joining me and see you on the next episode of Screw the Cubicle TV. Have a great day. Hey, thank you so very much for watching Screw the Cubicle TV and don't forget to subscribe below to get all the latest cubicle crashing content on how to quit your nine to five and create a life and business on your own terms.